Hi guys, Rui here with Naritude for Blender. In this one, I'm gonna show you how to create emissive decals with Decal Machine 2.0. So first of all, what you need to do is create a decal, right? So let's go ahead and create a simple one. It's gonna be a simple one, guys, because uh, reasons. And, you know, it's just uh, quicker. So let's create a simple one like this. And we're going to very quickly symmetrize this across. And, and we're going to connect these uh do we symmetrize it not really there we go should be symmetrized now oh come on symmetrize it there we go uh symmetrize these and symmetrize it again and then we're going to uh select these uh direction and we don't need these two and bevel them and corner them like this select the middle part f uh, scale it a little bit and then let's uh, extract it with hard ups and let's actually apply this thing right so now we're we going to uh, um, apply a bevel here at one segment so something like this another bevel is control and we're going to apply weighted normals at the weight of 100 and change here to affect it right and we're also going to sharpen this. So now I'm going to go to box cutter and really quickly cut some holes in here. Right? So let's cut this one here, not too deep. And let's grab this face and create a kind of like a chamfer. And let's simply um, copy this to all these sides and maybe move it a little bit, um, a little bit closer here, something like this. Okay. Now, so let's again uh, smart apply this and now let's grab this one and come on and shift uh, shift G and parameter and let's, you know, insert it inside and uh, extrude it up a little bit and let's bevel this. Not too much. That's too much. Something like this is good. Select the middle part. In fact, one is enough because we're going to mirror this and um, scale it and in fact you know what I'm going to mark this and then insert it and then extrude it and then scale it and then I'm going to add some indentation here like this and maybe I'm going to uh, macro this right inside like that right bevel is to oops um, come on Bevel is too big, so we're going to make it a bit smaller. So it's not so crazy. And we're going to apply sharpen to everything. So shift control sharpen to recalculate it. And same here. So we're going to grab this and we're going to chamfer it. And then we're going to uh, run the bevel on this one. And come on, run the bevel on this one and apply what it normals and uh, uh, increase the strength to 100, change this and recalculate sharps and this should be uh, should be peachy. Now uh, we need the light in here right I think this bevel is overshooting so it's a little bit too crazy this one yeah there we go so let's uh, let's duplicate this now to create um, um, you know to create an emission, right? Emissive decals. You need two materials on your decals, okay? So first you need an, uh, just a regular material for this whole part. And then you need an emissive uh, material. So let's create a new one here. And you want to use BSDF emission because decal machine works with BSDF shaders. So any other mod will not work. Now, do not use white, gray or black because they have no saturation. And later on when I show you how to adjust color, this will not work. So if you bake it white, you're stuck with white. Okay. So change it to whatever you want. Um, you can change the color later, but um, just you know, pick any color with uh, with some kind of saturation. All right. So as long as you have saturation here, you're good to go. Now we're gonna go here and select this uh, this ring and Control Plus, and we're gonna click on Plus here and uh, select this emissive material and assign. Okay. And now we're going to symmetrize it to all sides. So I'm going to do it with hard ups 
because it's easy and now if I'm gonna go to my view here everything is great now additional thing I need to do is I need to make sure that the, uh, the, the emissive material doesn't encroach on my bevel so what I'm gonna do is switch this here to zero okay and now we PG so to select this one now what we're gonna do is gonna bake it so now baking you, you you do it here in this panel right so all you need to do is select this option right panel change for decal machine so that's for baking uh, or creating decals and you want to try bake at um, settings uh, you know times two and five twelve this is a decent uh, decent settings for like previewing the decals and you want to select the bake emission now a bounce light i would stay away from it unless you are you know you have a lot of time or you maybe have two machines because it really takes time to bake it or you have a powerful machine that you can bake in one blender and work in another that's what i was doing recently but let me tell you on 10 10 uh, 10 900 k clock to 5.3 gigahertz with 20 uh, 28ti and 64 gigs of RAM. This took me over an hour to bake uh, a decal with emissions at 1024 and 4 anti aliasing here and 2048 bounce light quality. So it takes a really long time. And it normally it takes like 10, 15 minutes, you know, depends on the, on the complexity of a decal, uh, on number of polys and, you know, uh, how complex it is. But um, it really extends baking time for like three times maybe okay so you know if you want to bake it with bounce uh, be warned um, I do have some decals with bounce I can show you how it looks it looks really beautiful so for example um, this decal right which is like a very very simple emissive light okay it's without bounce all right so if I'm going to adjust the emission you see well it looks nice right but it's not as good as the one with bounce and this one is actually backed with bounce and you can clearly see the difference right just the light spills very naturally kind of like a natural glow and looks really like a light you know like a geo with with some emission in it it's quite quite impressive actually right so you see how this bounce spills the bounce spills together with the the strength of the light and it it encroaches in all these you know highlight areas here it looks quite amazing so you know that's with bounce okay so it looks amazing but it takes time <clears throat> we're gonna uh, bake it without bounce okay because you know um, i'm 45 for it i don't have that much time to wait for it to finish so uh, let's uh, create um, a subset decal so you got two types of decals right you got subset and simple simple consists of one object subset of two objects we have two objects here right so we need to create a subset decal and decal machine will automatically tell you which mode you're in i have one object selected if i hold shift select the plane because this one is a is a um kind of like a carrying plane okay this is the main plane based off of which everything's going to be calculated and you want to select it last okay so you want to select whatever it's inside and then your plane and then it will change here see the tooltip changes to subset decal and then all you do is simply press create subset decal it takes a little bit longer than creation of regular decals because it needs to bake uh, decal machine needs to bake emissive maps um and you know needs to bake emission itself so it just takes a bit longer but it's not really that long it just takes a few seconds especially at 512 at 1024 um it takes a few minutes and again it doesn't really depend i mean it does depend on the machine but blender itself has limitations here so and there you go this is our emissive decal so let's let's grab this and let's let's drop it in here what you want to do right is you want you don't want to move it from here okay you don't want to move it from here because i mean this 512 is fine but when you bake your final decal okay and you're just testing if everything is fine you don't want to move the original one because uh you, you will not be able to add it to library anymore okay you want to shift D it and you know use a copy of it okay because even if you change anything the original will update so for instance you know if i change the power of emission here right so increase the power of emission uh, the original decal will update with it right so the same with parallax you know i'm gonna lift the parallax in a minute so i'm gonna go here press d and if you want to adjust parallax now the key shortcut changed it was used to be e but now e is for emission so if you press e so you go d adjust e 
if you go to the right it's gonna uh, increase the um, strength of the light and if you're gonna go to the left it's gonna make it dimmer you see so and with D you adjust parallax okay so you do it with D so the quality of the bake is just the resolution is too low to pick this up so we would need to bake it in uh, 1024 for actually uh, proper emission to be to be baked so uh, let me see let me remove this and let me show you the difference okay it's gonna take a few more minutes but I, I want to show you the difference so I'm gonna bake um, a proper um, decal as I would you know bake for um, for a decal pack okay so I'll catch you in a few minutes uh, 1024 a resolution and I'll show you the difference uh, so let's copy this in here you can already see that uh, the quality is much 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 different right and let's adjust it a little bit and let's fix the parallax a little bit see that now how resolution inflicts um, the quality of a decal so 512 in my opinion is just not good enough um, this is the resolution should be baking at. Um, so now I can increase the strength of this, you know, by cranking it up, and everything looks beautiful. So now, how do you add it to your library, right? Like I said, you do not move the original decal; you leave it um, in in a place, and I'll show you now why. So if you go lower here, right, you can actually add decal to library, but you can see it's grayed out, right? If you're gonna click on this one, it's gonna be grayed out. The only way to add it to library is if you click on a decal that was just created in this very location and now you see that this option is um, active so now you simply need to select a library um, and if you don't have a library you need to create one so let's go and create one uh, let's go here to decal machine so you need to go to add-on preferences type decal machine go to general and you know here you type a name of a library okay so let's say um, uh, YouTube emissive uh, emissive test okay it's in here then we go into uh, refresh it right save preferences and now if I'm going to open my uh, library of decals you can see it in here right so YouTube emissive test and now we need to simply add it so from this drop down menu we're gonna uh, select this uh, library which is where uh, here right with this decal selected you add to library and then you can edit from here and this bulb means that uh, this decal has a proper emissive map created uh, this yellow bulb yeah and you can simply add it to your scene and voila there's your first emissive decal anyway guys that's it for this video hope you enjoyed it give us a like and sub if you did now like I said before, we have a free emissive decal pack that we have created with George Gambrill and you can grab these decals on Gumroad and Blender Market and completely free, so you know, just for you guys to enjoy and there's 20 of them and they all baked in 1024 and you know, quality is amazing and they look bloody awesome so um, have a look at them, download them, have fun, enjoy Thanks for watching, and if you do want to buy Decal Machine on Mesh Machine, Hard Ops or Box Cutter, there are affiliate links in the video description, so if you want to get them, get through the links, you're going to help me as well, it doesn't cost you anything. Thanks for watching, catch you in the next video.